Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, inna sam'a wal basara wal fu'ada, kullu ula'ika kana anhu mas'ula. The sound itself, the sight itself, and the heart itself, all of them man has been made responsible for. Allah begins with hearing, because hearing is the most difficult to guard. I came into New York City, and I'll tell you something, going from Mecca to Jeddah was like going from paradise to the gates of paradise. Going from Jeddah to Morocco was like going to a place where I could see paradise off in the distance, but I definitely wasn't in it. And then getting to New York was like a descent into the bowels of hell. And there's no exaggeration about that. Because suddenly, everybody around me was using foul language. Uh, it's unbelievable. The only time they don't use foul language is if they're serving you something. Everybody, I was standing in the, waiting for the bus. And I hear this, pe two people talking, and I, I wanted to plug my ears. And that's what Imam al awzai used to do when he saw people of Bid'ah. And these people, it was so foul, every other word was a foul language. And the mu'min is, laysa bi billah, in the hadith, the mu'min does not use foul language. Nor should he hear it. You have to protect, because now those words ring in the heart. They ring. They have a resonance because you're hearing filth and it, you get polluted by it. So you have to guard the ears. And the problem, the danger of the ear is that it, it's, it's, it's aural, it's circular, it's not linear. The eye, you can divert your gaze. If you see something haram, you can look away. Allah has given the ability with the ear. And this is why in the Quran, Allah always mentions the ear first. Because the ear is more difficult and the ear is a faster and more direct line to the heart than the, than, than the eye itself. And then you have to guard the eye because the eye is a mirror. It's a window into the heart. The eye is a window into the heart. But for, first and foremost, the heart itself is more important than anything else that the human being has been given. And so we have to purify our hearts.